hello scorpio hi guys how are you guys doing so we're going to do your mega okay welcome guys to your mega i hope you guys are doing very well it's a scene tarot today is a beautiful day you guys i'm excited to see what the angels have for us today and i hope you guys are too so guys if this video does resonate remember to like the video Give this a big thumbs up here on the channel so YouTube can actually push the videos forward into a bigger audience when you show your support, okay? It's very important. So thank you guys for all of you that's been supporting the channel and for all of you that's been, you know, showing your support, whether it is donating to the channel, uh, whether it's liking, commenting below, um, and returning for your messages all right so i'm feeling an energy you guys and i feel like it's someone that it's like it's definitely a worrying energy someone who has anxiety someone that is not sure of how things are going to pan out that's what i'm feeling here i feel like this person is trying to keep the peace in this situation i'm gonna turn down this fan real quick okay the person that i'm feeling or this energy is someone that is trying to keep the peace with this situation they don't want to argue but i feel like this person has been trying to argue with this person all the time it's like starting up things that doesn't even make sense okay and they don't know whether or not they're wasting their time or they need to go i feel like this person is saying i love you I don't know what's that about like someone is like saying i love you this card let's see if this is future 61 okay someone is not sure about the future someone is thinking about their future someone is planning for the future it's something to do with this person and their future. Why am I feeling like I'm seeing like if this person, you're wondering if this person is going to be in your life. Like you don't see them in your, in your future, in your life. I turned off my fan, you guys. Hold on. It is too hot in Atlanta to not have your fan on. <laughs> Can I have another message, angels, for Scorpio? I just want to tap into the messages. We have patience, Scorpio. I'm feeling like your angels want you to have patience within yourself, whether it's taking the time for self and i've been having a lot of readings about this recently where a lot of people need to choose themselves or be patient enough to understand what's going on going on inside of them internally maybe doing the work within a lot of you right now scorpio are doing the work within i feel like there is a time in for everything And this situation, like you feel like it's not coming together, like you're being patient with this person, but what is it, where is it taking you? You feel like you're not going anywhere with this person. 69, intervention. So I feel like, you know, there's something going on within you. You know, you know that this is something, it's like a call in, like I'm getting a call in, like you just know 
that you're not going to be with this person for a long time. This person is not going to be in your life, even if you're trying to keep them around, Scorpio. And I feel like, again, in the back of the deck, we have words 55. So we have a couple numbers here, 61, 8, 69, and 55, okay? I just feel like a lot of their words are very hurtful. And I, I guess like what I'm feeling is the angels want you to pay attention to all the signs here. All the signs because what you think you deserve, you deserve. Okay? Everything is happening for a reason. Even if this person is in your life to change your thinking. Like maybe you think that you're not going to find anyone better right now. Maybe it's a little bit too late for you to go out there and find another companion. But I don't feel like the divine is trying to lead you in that particular way. It's more about what they want you to learn about yourself. Whether it is being by yourself or being with someone or connecting with someone. Okay. So let's see for the tarot cut for you, Scorpio. Okay. We got Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. I'm definitely feeling, feeling anxiety. And I just said this. I feel like I said it in the beginning of your reading where I feel like there is anxiety going on. Like, there is no movements with the situation because someone is in their fear of things. Like, thinking about what if, what what will happen. Like, I don't want to be by myself kind of thing. Like, I'm feeling like this person is not ready to be alone, not ready to be by themselves, okay? And it's like a lot of anxiety with, with this card. I'm getting, like, a lot of fear, a lot of worrying. Like, why am I seeing, like, no need to worry card? Okay, I can see like no need to worry card. Let me see what the angels have for you. Angels, what messages do you have for school? Because I feel like you are going to be in a better place as soon as you figure this all out and you're strong enough to say, I choose self because this whole thing, like this whole vibe that I'm getting is about you and molding you to be stronger. Take action. We have, there is something better. We have, look for the signs and communicate clearly. And then we have no on the back of the deck. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. So I feel like whatever you have going on right now, Scorpio, you're going to need to communicate clearly, okay? With the angels and with your situation. Don't be afraid because I feel like with this page of wands, with this confident being pulled back, Okay, a lot of anxiety, a lot of excitement, a lot of, you know, passion with this and your words or your actions or your inspirations may not go the way or flow the way that you want to. Okay, with this issue, the situation. Okay, but I'm definitely feeling like this is something that needs to be this. This needs action. This needs communication. This needs you to move forward. Don't be stuck in this rut of things, of seeing what happens, putting things in their hands or what not. Um, make sure that you're communicating exactly what you want. Don't be afraid of this. This is what I'm hearing. Don't be afraid, Scorpio. Don't be afraid of this. <laughs> Go with exactly what you want. Okay? Um, let this person know exactly where you lie. Look for the signs here. Okay, and I feel like we talked about the signs just now. Okay, there is something better. The angel is saying that, hey, look, I'm not going to have you stay in this situation if you don't want to, but there is something to learn here. Okay, so let's put these aside and go back to the tarot. But I'm also getting a no card. All right, so whatever you guys are deciding, 
um, or asking the angels, they're saying no, all right? Whatever, whatever that resonates for you. I feel like it's definitely with this relationship, this energy that I'm seeing, this energy that I'm feeling. I'm seeing like you guys are actually enjoying life with friends. Like I'm seeing you out and about. I'm seeing you celebrating something. So, but I'm also seeing you doing the work, this healing process, okay? Okay. Tell me the Knight of Swords. It's like there's no movement here in this situation. Like the angels want you to take action here. And there's a blockage. As you can see, like your tying up loose ends with this issue, with the situation, this person you might have known for a very long time. And you're just like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to deal with this Ten of Pentacles anymore. <sighs> like you're putting an end to this relationship here. Like there's a communication issue that needs to be cleared up. And I feel like, again, communicate clearly. This is important. Angels are saying, how can you go and prosper or be go to the next level in life, whatever this might be or whatever this might be for you? You know, this could be everlasting love or this could be separation from two soulmate situations here. Um, but I just feel like for you and this person to be on the right path together, you got to communicate. And this is something that is not happening in this connection. Okay? Um, it's like someone is blocking someone here. This is what I'm feeling. You guys could have children together or something tied up with this Ten of Pentacles. I'm seeing you wrapping up this Ten of Pentacles. Scorpio. We have the Nine of swords and we also have the wheel of fortune and we have the world on the back in reverse so something is incomplete here something feels off okay like this person is like i'm trying to move forward but for some reason i just can't there is unfinished business between this person i feel like there's a lot of you know stress depression anxiety coming up like full blown in this reading it's like, I feel like both of you are going through anxiety. It's like, um, because of this, you know, separation, everything that you guys have built together is going to, going, going to, you know, crumbling in pieces right in front of you. I'm, I'm feeling like, it's like everything that you have built or worked on, all the investment that you've put in, whether it is years of relationship or connection, to get to know this person for this person to get to know you it's all going downhill you know i feel like this happened before with you and this person you know i feel like this person wants nothing but the best you know when it comes to this relationship of course you want things to work out you want happiness but something is going on here where this person is feeling like Like, it's just like a cycle. Like, something is, is not being understood here. Like, this person is... Someone is not getting a message, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Like, someone is not getting a message here. And so this keeps happening and keeps happening. We got the Five of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. We also have the Knight of Wands. Wow. You know, this person could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy as well. But I'm also feeling like this person is really coming off as someone that has a lot of fire towards you, a lot of passion towards you, an Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. Also, I'm, get, I'm definitely getting Capricorn, Virgo, or... Taurus energy as well, uh, more homebound kind of energy. But 
I'm feeling like this person is really slow, slow in moving towards fixing the situation with their family, you know, trying to show you how much they care and how much, how strongly they really appreciate this. I'm definitely feeling like this person is missing you for some reason, thinking about you. But I'm also feeling like there was kind of an abandonment with this relationship. Like somebody feels abandoned, like someone was left or someone feels like this person just wasn't never around. Like you couldn't, you just felt like this person wasn't wanting to be in this relationship or this connection anymore because you guys weren't seen eye to eye. You're not communicating. It's like you don't like the same things like you used to or do the same things together anymore. For some of you, I'm getting business deal. Like this was more like a business arrangement. Like that's how this relationship became to feel like. Because I'm getting like, you know, you guys put a lot of work into this. And for some of you, this could be tied up with money. All right. But I'm feeling like this person, when it comes to solving this situation, it's like they're at a pause. They're at a pause. Like everyone in this connection, I'm feeling like is confused. It's like there's a confusion here. Like they don't know like if this is going to work. They don't know if they should stay or they should go. If they should tie this up. But I feel like there is going to be a pull here. Like I don't have a choice kind of feeling and that's what you're working off of that feeling like you know what i don't think this person wants this so they're not telling me they do or they don't but i feel like you're not around you abandoned this relationship i haven't seen you in weeks i don't know what you're up to oh i guess you don't want to be with me so i'm just gonna be like all right i'm just gonna end this end this situation here you know And that's what I'm feeling here. And I feel like someone is always looking, like trying to find out what this person is up to. Who they're seeing. Maybe going on their Facebook pages or Twitter or whatever. Anything where they might be on Instagram. Maybe going to spots that they used to hang out at. <laughs> I've definitely seen that, but you don't need to do that because I see this person is eventually coming back, okay? Remember when I look, I was telling you about these dolphins here that I saw communicate clearly. Um, and it just reminds me of Twin Flame or Soulmate Connection here. Then we have the Six of Cups in, rever in, Six of Cups in the back of the deck in the present moment, okay? If this person hasn't come back yet, they will, all right? I feel like it's a huge, huge, huge connection between you and this person. It goes very deep, all right? And it's like, no matter how hard you guys try to move on with your life, or you might not, you might not be agreeing with things right now, because I'm getting like this person is arguing with you a lot, or trying to pick a fight. But there is always going to be a disconnection of this person returning, okay? Because... They have this deep feeling like they can't get you out of their mind energy. They're going through their lives. They're searching for something. But it's not that you're not the one for them. I don't feel that. I just feel like this person is just always searching for something. You know, searching for something. I don't know what that's all about. But then we have the Queen of Wands here. And we have the Eight of Wands. Very in love. Look at that. Then you have the Fools in reverse. Then you have the Ten of Swords. This is what this person does. You know, I'm feeling like this person like definitely hurts you. And then I'm hearing, I love you. I love you. Right? But they hurt you, put you through hell. Your mental state is off the chart. And you're also, you know, going through a lot of, this is making you Ill, Ill, sick, because they're putting you through a lot of depression here. 
I and then you know I just feel like this person just comes to you yes they do love you I feel like you're gonna get some messages messages I can't even speak from this person very shortly very very fast like this is gonna happen very fast but they want to come back to you but with you you're not going to trust this because you're still dealing with self-love. You're still dealing with choosing self. It goes back to self. You love yourself or you're going to or about to. Because you got to do the healing. For some of you Scorpios, you're still doing the healing. As much as you want to be with someone, wake up with someone every morning, is like... You're making a decision between this person and self. And I know that shouldn't be a hard decision, but when you've been through a lot, Scorpio, like yourself, you know, you kind of start doubting yourself. Damn, I've been in a lot of relationships and nothing seemed to work. Is it me? It make you it just really start making you doubt yourself, right? Like, and you're asking yourself, is it you? But I definitely feel like it's not. It's not you, Scorpio. It's not you, okay? But you just need to do a lot of healing to get that out of your mind so you can actually believe it, okay? But I feel like this person has a lot going on where this person definitely needs to build their life up. That's one. Stop lying to everybody and their mama. That's two. And find out what they truly want in life because you, Scorpio, you know what you want, but this is per but this person is like really putting a milestone on you when it comes to your intuition, all right? Because I'm seeing like you're all over the place with this person. You're just trying to be very like detective mode, trying to find out things, not being very quiet and observing. You're just really like... You want to find out the truth here. You want to get on to the bottom of this. Like, what is going on? Because I feel like this person is not giving you the clarity that you seek, right? And that's what is going on here. So, you know, you have the nine of swords here, your your feelings, and also um, this these these healing things that needs to be get got rid of here, Scorpio, as you can see, right? If they're all in the upright you're experiencing them you're this is stuff that you have to heal from all right this is the issues depression stress anxiety doubting yourself always wondering about the past always wondering about the past and your decisions and what you have done in this i feel like for some of you you're really sitting down and thinking about what did i do what did i do did i do something bad did I do everything right in this relationship? You're really doubting yourself and you shouldn't. You, just, you should stay consistent with yourself because if you feel like something isn't right, Scorpio, it isn't. It isn't. Do not let this person doubt your intuition or let you doubt your intuition because your intuition is there for a reason to trust it. I think what's going on here in this reading is like, damn, you put a lot of time in this situation. It's very hard to let things go when you put a lot of time and invest. And, you know, you like it's like what it's like getting a little seed, planting it in your backyard and watching it grow. You have to invest in that to make it grow. It just doesn't, you know, sit there and it needs water, right? It needs to be it needs the perfect dirt or soil to to blossom. You're you know, you're investing in this relationship is ugh. and now you have to separate yourself from it. And this is what I'm seeing here. So let's see what we get with some messages real quick. <sighs> Look at that. I love you. <laughs> Wow. I love you. All right. Can I have some messages for Scorpio? Scorpio, please. In this person, energy. Can I have some messages for Scorpio? Sorry if the table, if the camera is shaking, you guys. 
But if you've made it to 24, 52, 53, 54, go ahead and like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here so YouTube can push these megas, okay? All right. I'm going to start Scorpio. Just need to get this shuffled real quick. Scorpio, please. Messages for Scorpio. You have regret. You have, I want to feel that way again. Wow. I want to taste you. Interested. Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> Just let me go. And then we have, your friends need to stay out of our business. Wow, so there's some people that's coming in here. We need to talk about everything. I took the easy way out. I wish things could be different. Then we have... I couldn't let you get close to me. You need to move on. We have two different energies coming through, as you can see. I hope we can be friends. One more. I don't want to give up on us. Do you see what I'm saying? Two different energies here. So someone clearly is wanting to let go of things, but there is an energy, <clears throat> excuse me, there is an energy that definitely wants to stay and work this out. I feel like with that 10 of pentacles, it's like, like I said, it's the beginning of this reading. Like someone is feeling like they don't have a choice, but to give up, but to leave this situation. And, you know, I'm definitely feeling on both ends is there is anxiety here. Anxiety on both ends. It's like this is like someone is feeling like this is so far gone. Like, how can we make this right? But the angels want you to know it just takes a like a conversation, an honest conversation between you and this person, and definitely communication. Trust is something that you have to work through because. The fools is in reverse. So this, there is this energy where this person wants to come back here, and of course, and jump right into this, okay? This person is coming off as someone that doesn't have any confidence within themselves right now. This person really is. But whenever you are ready, they're willing to jump in. But you, on the other hand, I'm feeling like, there is this trust issue because the fools is in reverse. So you're moving in with caution. You're really thinking about the past and things that this person have done to you. And you're like, should I really? Because this person did a lot of things to you. For some of you, they really messed up your physical and mental state. All right. You're dealing with a lot of healing right now. It's like I'm getting like, even if you wanted this, you really can't physically right now or mentally because you need to work on yourself you wouldn't be even you wouldn't be able to give this person the the energy or the true start that this relationship needs like you wouldn't be able to invest in this anyway this is what i'm hearing because you don't have the mental state to do this you don't have the mental state to do this. I feel like there is forgiveness that is required, but you can also always say you forgive someone, but it's hard to forget about the things that this person have put you through and move forward in a relationship, right? So I'm definitely feeling like this is a big issue here. 
you know, because this person definitely sees you as an attractive person, but you're definitely in your feelings here, okay? You're in your feelings, and I'm also feeling like you're 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 just like annoyed every time you hear this person's name or this or people are trying to tell you to, to that you guys belong together and stuff like this. It's like you're just like, oh come on, not again, not you too. <laughs> I'm seeing like you're just trying to just do you, and you know, not that you don't care for this person, but they're like they're cold to me. Like, someone is acting cold to me. Someone is acting like they're not interested in me. Like, you know, queen of wands here in reverse. It's like you're just acting like you're just not interested. You're just, you know, doing you. Your back is turned. You're just making sure that this person... Like, you're not giving them any kind of indication that you are interested. Okay? This is what I'm getting here. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. So let's see what other messages we can get. Okay, Scorpio, please. Anything we have for Scorpio? I am like looking at this card. I want to taste you. I'm like, what? Where is this coming from? A lot of passion here for you. I tell you, twin flame. I feel like you guys already know, like, there is a passion between you and this person. Like, the, it's just, and this, like, makes much sense right here. Like, this person cannot get you out of their head. It's like a physical attraction here between you and this person. <laughs> physical attraction. Tell me more for this read-in, please, angels. Tell me more. For Scorpio. Okay. We have. Do you and I'll do me. Period boo. Wow. What a horrible energy. <laughs> Scorpio. Why do I feel like that's you? Oh my God. You are just over this person. But here we have the ten of pen. Well no, no. I'm sorry. Let's go back. The ten of wands. You're saying that this was a burden to carry. Like, you are tired. Look at these smiley faces. Y'all be messing with my cards. Y'all be like, your cards are so weird. <laughs> Look at these faces. You're overwhelmed trying to keep it together. But you're tired, worn out. <sighs> What's on the back here? This person says cold as ice on the back of the deck. And then we have faith. Deep are our family roots. That's a message for someone. Someone has a family here. The Ten of Pentacles. Someone has family with this person. All right. So let's clear up here. We want to see your future swatch, all right, with this person. And I also wanted to see um, your energy. Okay, Scorpio, where you lie with this person to understand a little bit more of what's going on here. But I feel like I'm getting a lot of things were done in this connection. A lot of things were done and it's like tainted. Like, why am I getting like this was good and you had to mess it up? That's what I'm feeling. Now I have to deal with a lot of things. Like I've been dealing with so many things. The Ten of Wands. I've been dealing with so many things. And you said you would not do this to me again. And you did. This is what I'm hearing. It's like if you give me one more wand, I'm going to go crazy. That's what I'm hearing. Let's see what your energy is when it comes to this person. All right. And then I'm going to do their energy. So Scorpio's energy towards this person, please. Angels. Scorpio's energy towards this person. What do we have for Scorpio moving forward when it comes to this person?
Wow. I just see like Scorpio. Wow, the Knight of what is this? Okay. So the Knight of Wands. So Scorpio, I'm feeling like This person, you know, is either you're saying this person is moving very slowly towards you or you're moving very slowly towards this person because you're like not really like showing any kind of love or affection to this person. You're hiding all your feelings. You're wearing like this mask on. Like I I feel like with the moon too, it could be because a lot of other people are surrounding this or a lot of other people are trying to like persuade you to do certain things that they feel like it's right for this situation but actually is right for them is not necessarily right for you like they're not doing this for you Scorpio so you need to be careful with this situation okay this could be friends or family that's guiding you this way but I'm also feeling like you're just not giving this person any kind of play okay any kind of play um, you want to see where things go with this person, okay? You do. You want to see where things go with this person. You want to charge in. But even if you decide to do that, I feel like it's like a lot of holding up, like a lot of delays here. Like you're just afraid of what this person, with all this passion, you're just afraid of what this person might, you know, do in the future. You know, you want to stay, but it's like, you did so much to me already. We've been through this already. And then let's see what follows. We have the three, the three of cups here. And then we have, yeah, I feel like you want to move forward with this. Look at that. We have, you know, this person tends to like stay still, but we have the emperor here. I'm getting Aries energy. <laughs> Like, this person wants to, like, I'm feeling like, Scorpio, you want to make this work. You want to. But it's like this fear that goes with it because you've been here before. Oh, sorry. You've been here before with this Wheel of Fortune. You want to have everything. You want to have luck on your side. You want to be successful with this person. But you like, damn, look at you. You're down here, they're up here. It's like you're never on the same page. You're never together, you know, if that makes sense. And this is the kind of feeling that I'm getting with this. It's like a delay. It's always something. That's what I'm hearing. But you have no problem starting again. But again, with trust is something that you have to deal with. But it's not about love because clearly you love this person with the Eight of Wands. It's, there's a lot of love here, a lot of passion. But you're just like holding back, holding back all your feelings. You don't want this person to know. I feel like for some of you, you're saying, yeah, um, if I let them know how I feel, they might like use it against me. Because, you know, I feel like it could be a little bit of manipulation here, but I'm not seeing that as yet. But let's see. What's, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. I didn't even get to ask the question yet. And the angels are just doing the most like confirming what is going on here it's like this person wants to apologize but it's like they're holding that back what's scorpio's person's feelings towards scorpio please angels And then was on the back. Wow. Fight into the day you guys walk away. So they're telling me like this is it. A lot of arguments. A lot of people coming in. Remember I saw I say in the moon here. I was saying, damn, there's a lot of people like coming in, like trying to be in this situation, trying to guide you. 
into making a decision that is just not right. And they're not doing it for themselves. I mean, I'm sorry. They're not doing it for you, Scorpio. They're doing it for themselves. It's like it's agenda that's going on here. They want you to break up with this person because this person that's telling you things might have some kind of feelings towards your person. And if, I don't think your person know about this. They're like, why are you even in our business? But I just definitely feel as soon as this ends with you and them, every this person is going to be trying to befriend your person and try to get closer and closer to them. So be careful who you're telling your business to. This could be your best friend. Some things we need to keep to ourselves and just pray about it, okay? Honestly, I'm definitely feeling like your person is bringing up this card for a reason. You know, like people, five wands. There's not, it's definitely not just you and your person having issues. They're bringing up other people that might be involved with this connection that's coming in and doing things that they're not supposed to do. But I'm definitely feeling that they want to work on this, but they feel like, you know, they want to bring into a cycle as well. You know, they're bringing up this cycle here. This is in reverse. This is in the upright. You're saying there is a cycle, period. They're saying they need to put an end to this cycle. They want to apologize because clearly they know that they did something wrong here. But they're holding this back for a reason. They want to tell you. They want a message to give you a message. I don't know if they're going to still do this. They probably will, but it might just come off the, the, the you know, the wrong way. But I'm feeling like they're like holding back a little bit on this because they feel like you're not going to accept the apology. But they want to work on this Scorpio. Okay? This is what I'm seeing here. They want to work on this relationship. They feel like they're burned out with this situation. But, you know, at the same time, they're overprotective. You know, they feel like they're standing by themselves, honestly. Like, they're the only ones that want to still make this work. They don't know how you feel, Scorpio. Because clearly you still want this, but you just have things that you're afraid of. So you're just like cut off ish, you're cold, you know, you're acting like you don't want to talk to them or see them and stuff like that. But it's because a part of you really just want to move forward um, to forget this person. But it's going to be very hard because there's a connection between you and this person. So I'm not saying it cannot be done. It could be done. But I want to be nosy and I want to see what's behind these cards. Okay. So somebody made a wrong decision between a third party here because I'm getting another energy because all this time I'm seeing soulmate, but I did say twin flame, but somebody made a wrong decision here between two things. It went and but they ended this though. They ended this because they want to make this work. See what I'm saying? Like, look, it's like they had a a a, 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 a ha ha moment one day. They were doing all the wrong things, and one day they just woke up. Look at these folks trying to be in their ears as well. You know, there's other people here that's involved, y'all. I feel like for some of you, your friends want you to be single, want you to go back to how you used to be. So be careful with that. Again. All right? But I feel like this ended. The third party, though, um, I'm feeling like there was a relationship, okay? There was a relationship, but this person ended that. There was a twin flame connection. You are... You are the six of cups. You are for someone from their past. Someone that um, clearly you guys broke up. That's what I'm getting here for this. Because they're like looking at you as someone from their past. Okay? You guys are not together anymore. But they also broke up with this lovers. Okay? Like they made a decision one day and just broke up with them. And they're having a hard time about this. This lovers, let me just tell you, <laughs> because they didn't see it coming. Honestly, they did not see this coming, but it was just a decision. They woke up. This is why you got to stay out of people's business, y'all. 
And if somebody got somebody already and they having issues, let me just tell you something. I'm having this energy of this person was with someone and I'm seeing you, Scorpio. Like say they were with you. Because I'm trying to make you understand what I'm feeling. And you guys had issues because I'm getting arguments. Like Yaka was arguing left and right. Like this person was just picking on you. You felt like you just it wasn't working. Now, I'm feeling like y'all just wasn't on the right page. Now, not, not to say that this person didn't wasn't knowing this person already, but I just feel like, you know, this person was telling them like, yeah, I'm, I'm just coming out of a relationship or whatever. And, you know, so they know about a past situation. But when somebody actually still talk about their, their person, like, they just left this person and broke up with this person or this person broke up with them, whatever the situation is, you must know in your mind, like, yeah, this person is still healing from this. This person is still learning from this. They might just go back together. So I need to make sure to just like back up from this because this person is, because you know how it is when you're in a long ass relationship, you break up with somebody or somebody break up with you, you're still healing from it. it you know, it, especially when the person keeps talking about their ex, okay? And I feel like a situation like that was happening. There was a lot of strong love for you, Scorpio. And this person moved on with someone else. And, you know, they realized one day, like, damn, they don't want to be with this new person. They want to be with their ex. And I feel like it's a sad situation for the for this person because, of course, it's a learning curve for them. But at the same time, they're having a hard time right now figuring out how can you just do that? How can you turn off what we what we built, you know, just like that? Just like how they did you, Scorpio, period. You put a lot of energy into your relationship. For some of you, I'm getting years. It could be eight years, um, eight months for some of you. But I'm getting like you've been with this person for a long time. And out of nowhere, they whatever you guys built in a tent of pentacles, you guys could have a house together, child together. You know, it's like a marriage for some of you. And this person is deciding to just walk away from it out of nowhere. Like you just felt like their energy was off because you guys have a connection. You know, it's more than a, a twin flame. It's a soulmate connection. So it feels like, and yes, this person is dealing with your, the soulmate and a twin flame connection. I have readings like this before where, you know, you can't confuse the two to be the same, like soulmate. But the difference between the two is one is based on attraction and the other is based on the heart, okay? Not to say you can't love them both. You love them in different ways, okay? It pulls you in different ways. That's how you know the difference. Um, when your heart hurts for someone, when you just leave them, you know that's a soulmate when you are breaking, when you are to your knees and you cannot breathe. That is your soulmate. When you are upset and want to throw things and fight and just hurt each other, that's a twin flame. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because, uh, and this is what I'm getting with this reading. But... Let's see, y'all, uh, because I'm shuffling. I lost this. This whole reading just got me all messed up for you. <laughs> I'll be getting so deep in the readings, y'all. I'll be forgetting, man. Like, I'm doing a reading. That's what I'm <laughs> I'll be in the energy, okay? Lost in the energy. But let's see <clears throat> what y'all got going on. In the future, all right? Because I want to see what, what's popping. What the angels can let you know, all right? Okay. So let's pull some cards for the future for Scorpio energy in this person, please. What's going on for Scorpio in this person in the future? What messages do you have for Scorpio in this person in the future? 
hope you guys made it here to 59 55 56 57 go ahead and like this video give this video a big thumbs up here so youtube can push the videos through to a bigger audience so the video can grow so the channel can grow okay scorpio thank you guys you like my commercial y'all <laughs> yes oh my goodness oh okay okay angels i got it i got it so the first card is definitely the page of pentacles then we have the knight of pentacles wow a lot of pentacles huh we have the five of wands oh lord can we just talk about it already <sighs> all right y'all i this person is losing it all they're losing their daggone mind i feel like this person is like really in the pause lane like they can't move forward i don't see them moving forward in the future because they're losing everything i feel like it's because of these folks look at it we have all kinds of bees and bugs and stuff people fighting people trying to be in a business where it doesn't concern you Hey, this is Scorpio and their person. This doesn't concern you. I'm seeing a lot of fighting, y'all. A lot of fighting. Or someone trying to argue. There's like conflicts on top of conflicts here. The Eight of <laughs> Cups. I'm seeing you walking away. Let's see here. The Emperor. Okay. So this person wants to fight for this. Even still. I feel like something that this person walked away from, they're returning to. Okay. Yeah, they want to be happy in the sun. The 19. Okay, so let me see. Wow, they're in love. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. Look at that. They want to come back in. Yeah, they want to come back in because this is what they walked away from. They walked away thinking it was a better situation here with that lover situation. They walked away from the relationship, the Ten of Pentacles. This is for someone that someone left this relationship, y'all. And I don't ever think you had any clarity on why this person really left because I feel like at this at remember when in the beginning of the reading I was feeling like this you were being pulled like it was just it, you didn't have any control over the situation and this person left thinking things were greener on the other side not with you not knowing like you felt like something was going on but your intuition was all over the place with this person like you don't know you were trying to search of like what's going on what's the deal you know, this person wasn't giving you the truth here, but I feel like this person left the situation and now they're trying to return. They're trying to make things work. They're going, they're going to try their very hardest to let things work. I feel like this person is very stubborn, but they're really, they're really ready to battle the day. Like, win your hands again like they are ready to go to war here for you you know what i mean this is what i'm seeing like they realize like in the high front like you are the one for them they're they're like falling falling in love all over again very quickly very very quickly this happened i'm getting like this energy just came to them like like they were just standing there and then the energy just went right through them and they just remembered you. Like the love, the things that you guys been together and did and experienced and grow together. And then they start to appreciate that. <laughs> That's crazy, ain't it? <laughs> then you have the six of pentacles. Then you have the judgment. This is not set in stone yet. The separation. Then we have the page of swords. Some of y'all, y'all don't care about what they got going on. It's like you just trying to do you. You're trying to heal at this moment. You're trying to heal from this person because this person got you twisted. You know, I'm definitely seeing like this person needs to be careful here because the angels are also getting involved with this situation. I mean, they're giving them the benefit of a doubt because they seem that they're coming back trying to fix things. So, 
you know, they might give them some time to fix things with you or to make peace with this because the most important thing is clarity, okay, and trust and the truth. And, you know, setting you free from any kind of doubt so you can have your healing process, you know, per, that you can proceed with that. Okay, whether it is moving on on your own or definitely, you know, moving on in a relationship with this person, you know. Um, damn. I'm feeling like... Scorpio, you're on a journey with yourself right now. Like you don't want this person to get into your healing process. That's what I'm seeing. Like you're definitely like, yeah, I really love this person. I really have this connection towards them. But my healing process is very important to me. And it worries you because I'm feeling this energy. Oh, and I'm so entwined with this, y'all. And forgive me, but... It's this energy of anxiety because you are on the path of recovery and you like it. You are so proud of it. And it's like, dang, you know this person is coming back and trying to mess up that progress. And you're like, I'm not done yet. And you're trying to like block this energy really badly. Like, no, not yet. You hear me? Can we say amen to this? Because I'm preaching here. I'm preaching this energy that I'm feeling, Scorpio. Like this excitement. What is that? Like I'm getting this excitement. Like Scorpio, things are coming to you because of this recovery and you're feeling it. I felt like some of y'all was just standing there yesterday and all of a sudden, this beautiful energy came to you. And you're like, thank you. That feels so good. Why do I feel happy? What is that? That's what you're saying to yourself. Like, ooh, that feels good. That's the angels bringing something to you, letting you know that you got something coming to you. Be prepared to embrace it. You've been through too much. This person got karmic energy coming to them if they don't fix this. This is the thing. I told you the angels are getting involved. Judgment is not confirmed. In your heart, Scorpio, this is over and done with and sealed and delivered. But... In the spiritual world, this is not confirmed. This is still open. This file is still open. This person needs to do right by you. And they're giving them a time frame. You feel something is coming to you. Because you got that energy blast through you you don't know what the hell it is you're just like why do i feel so what is that energy that i feel i'm seeing you got goosebumps but you just felt good even if it lasts for like a second that was the message from the universe your reward is coming the eight of swords stop being in your head about this okay you already know what this person is about okay here is the apology oh so they're gonna do right by you look at that look at that you know but i don't see that you want you even care at this moment my thing is scorpio be nice <laughs> three of wands listen Scorpio, the angels is giving you something. They're going to give you what you want. You're going to have your desires. Believe in it. It is not late, too late. It's coming to you. It's whatever you choose. I'm here to tell you, I'm getting the message right now that you are going to be fulfilled. 
with or without this person, but you need to pass the test. You're doing the healing. You want to protect your energy. This person is coming to you. Be nice. Because I'm seeing like you blocking them every chance you get. Like they're trying to tell you everything. You're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. Bye. And you should be in your feelings. You should. But just know that this is not going to, it's either going to make you get the blessing or it's not. Because the angels are watching you too. They want you to be humble. I always tell y'all this in y'all reading. Be humble. The more humble you are, you're going to see. You're going to see how you on top. You're going to see how you on top. Don't block no new form of way. If you don't want to be with them, cool, but let them do what they need to do. Obviously, this person is trying to get to you. There's blockage here. Communication blocked. Don't block them. It's just too, it takes too much energy out of your day to be blocking people, okay? And remembering who you blocked, okay? <laughs> You know, just just weather the storm. Confront the issue. Communicate clearly. You had that card. Communication is necessary in this connection. Whether it is to end this or move forward with your life or move forward with them, either way, you need to communicate. You're definitely in your mind about this person. I already knew that from that high priestess being in reverse all over the place. This person is lying to you front and center. Okay? You know this. You feel this. They're in your mental state. They try to mess up your mental state. Now, you might be saying, okay, seeing Tara, you're saying to me that I need to let this person back into my life so I can talk to them. But they're messing with my mental state. But Scorpio, you are strong. How are you going to make somebody mess up your mental state? You know this person is lying. Trust your intuition. Let them say what they got to say. But at the end of the day, you're going to make that decision for you. Because you want peace. You want peace with your life. You don't want to have to walk past somebody and just somebody that you know for 10 years, 8 years, 8 months for some of y'all. And you build a real deep connection because you could know somebody for three days and build a real big connection and have somebody for three years and y'all don't know nothing about know each other. You know what I'm saying? So it's just the person, honestly. But you don't want to build that connection and you know so much about this person, but yet they hurt you and you just walk right past them because of that. You want to be able to be a big person and say, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good too. All right. Nice seeing you. You take care. That's what the angels want. They want to see growth. They want to see forgiveness because that's all. That's the only way they can work. They work on the light and not the darkness. So this person did a lot to you, but I feel like I had to tell you, I had to deliver that message. You're, you're really looking like this person disappointed you. I see this, but there is going to be a shift. I already told you this in the high for all. This person is going to wake up one day. They hurt too many people. I'm also getting like this person hurt you. This person hurt the third party. This person is searching for something. Remember I said they were searching for something. And it's like, it's nothing to do with you. It's something going on with this person. They cannot find that f fulfillment. And I feel like what's going to happen is there. it's too late. It's too late when they recognize the fulfillment. And the fulfillment been right in front of them this whole damn time. Could you believe it? Guess who is? You. You. What the hell they were searching for? They feel like you weren't going nowhere. You. That's the fulfillment. They come to you to apologize. I don't know if you're going to take it. Because to you, this person looks like a clown right now. And it's going to be a long time before they do this. It's time going to be passed. I'm here in like three months for some of y'all. Depends on your person. This person you probably haven't seen in three years. Okay? Some of y'all three weeks. But I'm getting three. Um, 
this person, you're going to be moved on. There's going to be someone else coming to you. This is what the angels want you to know. Scorpio, get ready for a huge change in your life. It is coming and I feel it. It's just a beautiful thing. But you have to remain humble, focused, and be kind because you are that kind of person. Be open. This relationship is going to make you feel a little bit closed off-ish because especially for those who've been with this person for eight years, okay, this is a relationship that was invested in, you put a lot of time in, and this person is going to experience, I'm seeing that they're experiencing karmic energy right now. It's like everything they touch is not moving. Whatever success or legacy they're planning is going to crap. They're not going anywhere. They're losing money left and right. For some of you, this person lost their career, their money, their savings. I'm seeing investments that fell through. I'm seeing their apartment, they got infected, or their home, they lost. They're not doing good, y'all. They're poor right now. They're poor right now, okay? And it's because they tr how they treat people. Scorpio, do you hear me? Don't fall into the same trap because they are coming back. They are coming back, honey. Okay? This person, I'm getting they left you and they are returning. This person is not an emotional person. This person is set in their ways. This person wants to control things. Do you know who this is? Comment down below. Be kind to each other. I love y'all and I will see you guys in your next one. Remember, if you made it to 107, remember to like the video so YouTube can push these videos through y'all. I love y'all and I will see you guys in your next one. Bye, Scorpios.